I just had to show that this is the view outside of our RV at Breezy Hill RV Resort. It's quite amusing actually. But we're here for 14 days and this is the only spot that was available. The only pull through spot that was available. So this is what we've been looking at. There's a sign that says no dumping and from what I see this is nothing but dump. <laughs> this is over at the, the dumpster area. It would be behind that portion over there. Okay. And then we'll take you for a walk around the around the park. This is actually one of the most unfriendly um, resorts I've ever seen. Nobody speaks and they drive very, very wild. It's a, a decent place to just kind of stay for a couple days, but you don't want to stay here if you were um, planning on having a good time and just kind of resting and relaxing. This is the entrance here. You do need a gate code to get in, which is good. It provides for more security. And Highland Woods is right next door. I believe they have the same gate codes because there's some amenities that are there that you're able to utilize if you're staying here. And... Okay. And we're headed out, like I said, so we're going to show you the exit. There's a separate exit and entrance. This is the office right here, and you can receive packages. You are able to receive packages. We actually have packages that need to be picked up um, today. So we're going to go and get those and see how easy it is to pick up our packages. The landscaping is very nice here. If you can hear the trains in the background, I happen to like trains, so it's not a problem for me. But if you don't like trains, it may be an issue for you. All right. So these are all rental units around here. And as you can see also, there are only a few pull-through spots. So if you have a larger rig and you've not rented for the season, you want to make sure to ask them for a pull-through spot. And that was, I'll show you again, but that's kind of where we were um, when we first started walking. And you can see that um, we're in a pull-through space. And they said when we got here, there was only one. This is the clubhouse over here. And we've not been to the pool. They have a, quite a few activities. Um, they've got Zumba and um, yoga and some other things that they do. People, you can see, ride their bikes constantly. They also have, well, they said that there are no pets, but we've seen dogs everywhere, and they we just saw a pit bull also, so there's no restriction on the types. And I know, you know, people have their thing with the, the types of dogs, and they say it's the way you train the dog. I'm not crazy about pit bulls, so that's kind of a turnoff for me that they're in here. I haven't seen that anywhere else either. And now we're getting to uh, the part where there are more RV units, not just the cottages that are for rent. Okay, so we'll keep going. Here's another section over here. Again, these are more spaces, but I don't know if you can tell on the video, but the spaces themselves are quite short. And that's why I was saying you, you may want to ask for a pull through unit if you are um, planning on coming just for a few days because you don't have room we had to change spots if you can kind of see that area we had to change spaces um, well they gave us a choice of four spaces the first space that they gave us was kind of like this and as you can see only a car can get in there and then there was a um, screen house on the other side so there was no way to get into that spot so then they gave us three other choices of spaces and that's when they told us there was one 
pull through space in the entire um, resort. So we were able to get that one. So again, make sure you ask for a pull through. Another thing you may want to um, take note of is that in the pull through spaces, there are only 50 amp plugs. So if you have a 30 amp like we do, you want to get a, um, an adapter. And it was so funny because we had just gone, we stopped by Walmart earlier in the day before we got here. And, or I think it was the day before. And I said, we better get this um, adapter to, that changes the 30 amp, uh, well not changes the 30 amp to 50 amp, but you can use the 30 amp in a 50 amp uh, outlet. And we did that. If we hadn't done that, we would have been in big trouble. So make sure you bring an adapter if you've got a 30 amp because there are only 50 amp units in the pull through spaces. So this is about the gist of it. It's really more of a parking lot um, rather than an RV resort. But again, if you're just here for a couple days, it's a decent place um, to stay. The people are not very friendly at all. <laughs> so again, just if you like to be by yourself or be with your family, then, um, then it's okay. If you're a friendly person, this may not be the space for you. Thanks so much and we'll talk soon.